Greetings, I'm Penley the Penguin. I'm here to talk to you about mathematics, but I'm also going to tell you a little bit about penguins. There are 17 species of penguin. Now some scientists say that there are 18 or 19, but what is definite is that uh, penguins vary quite a bit in size, and they also vary where they live. Some live in extremely cold climates, and some live near the equator. Today we're going to talk about how you're going to learn to fluently multiply and divide. Now it's easy to learn your 2 times tables, 2, 4, 6, 8, etc., and your 5 times tables, 5, 10, 15, 20, and your 10 times tables, 10, 20, 30, 40. But the other ones are somewhat more difficult. But I'm going to give you a trick to learn how to multiply and divide and remember. So let's say you had difficulty remembering what 6 times 7 is. Well, if you had a difficulty knowing what 6 times 7 is, you'd also have trouble knowing what 7 times 6 is. That is a related fact. By using the commutative property, those are identical, they have identical products. So let's say you learn 6 times 7 is 42. Not only do you know 6 times 7 is 42, but you know 7 times 6 is also 42. Now the related division facts are you take the product 42 and divide it by 6 and that would be 7. And then you take the product 42 again, this time dividing by 7 and your result or quotient is 6. Now let's do the same thing with 9 times 8. Sometimes you have difficulty with 9 times 8 the related multiplication fact would be 8 times 9. Once you learn that 9 times 8 equals 72, then you also know that 8 times 9 is 72. What would be the related division facts? That's right, 72 divided by 9 equals 8 and 72 divided by 8 equals 9. Very good. So any problems that you have or tables that you, or multiplication facts that you have difficulty with, study one. Remember, if you know one, reverse the factors and you know another one. And I know this because I'm Henley the Penguin.